Forget more cowbell, we want more interviews. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 weirdly wonderful Will Ferrell interviews. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on the most hilariously original Will Ferrell moments from late night TV appearances. Number 10. Ron Burgundy's New Book For this interview, Farrell appears in character as the legendary anchorman Ron Burgundy. He's promoting a new book, written by him of course, and it's full of nuances about getting through life. Ron shares some pearls of wisdom, explaining how human poo can be quite valuable when you're trying to survive a South American prison riot. Always keep your own poop in your cell with you. <laughs> From there, the interview gets even more bizarre, as Burgundy proclaims that America's biggest problem is the rise of ugly, ugly babies. Babies have gotten uglier in this country. You think uh, babies in America have gotten uglier? Well, I don't think it's a fact. Farrell stays in character the whole time, to the amusement of not only the audience, but of Conan and Andy as well. Number 9. Goulet During his Saturday Night Live run, Farrell often portrayed the entertainer Robert Goulet. Who let the dogs out? Who let those dogs out? Who let those little mutts go? Yeah! <laughs> For this late night appearance, he shows up in character. It's the improvised banter that stands out most, as Will, aka Goulet, drifts in and out of the conversation with his drunken rambling, courtesy of a Diablo martini. They call it a Diablo because it gives you a devil of a good time. Goulet. <laughs> Not only does Goulet incorrectly identify Conan as Johnny Carson. Nice, uh, nice hey. to have you here. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> he also shares his non sequitur thoughts on life before launching into a madcap cover of My Favorite Things. By the end, Farrell nearly breaks character, but refocuses for some classic Goulet scatting. What? Goulet. <laughs> Number 8. Summer of Stash. To celebrate the summer of stash, Will comes prepared to this interview, sporting a manly man mustache. Compared to Jimmy Fallon's traditional look, Will's is a bit more aggressive. This comedic bit allows him to comment on annoyingly talkative airplane passengers. I was jealous. Summer of stash. Yeah. Hashtag stash tag. <laughs> yeah, stash tag. It's a hilarious lead in for a more traditional interview, but not until after a little audience participation where Will passes on his mustache to a lucky member of the crowd. Will continues saw stash, but the veteran comedian proves that he can still get big laughs, even without fake facial hair. Number 7. Danny Boy Near the end of David Letterman's longtime late night gig, Will made a festive appearance on St. Patrick's Day, much like he did years earlier on Late Night with Conan O'Brien. For this one, he was not celebrating per se, but rather more concerned about the danger of snakes. But we forget that in the 5th century, the real St. Patrick, he chased all the snakes out of Ireland. That's right. So, Will keeps an almost comically straight face as he delivers wildly inaccurate statistics regarding Manhattan snake attacks. For the rest of the interview, Will returns to his normal self, offering some comedic insight into his brief stint playing Major League Baseball. Trying to hit a 90 mile an hour fastball. It's next to impossible. Well, of course. Yeah. The cherry on top, however, is most definitely his closing performance of Danny Boy. Because in Dumbo, the snakes wear skinny jeans. Number 6. Extrañamente Maravilloso While promoting the movie Casa de mi Padre. Esteban, un día. El rancho de mi padre se pasará a mi hermano y a mí. Will makes an impressive late night entrance on a majestic wooden horse that's pulled on stage by a couple of shirtless ranch hands. That alone is pretty funny. But what makes this interview truly memorable is the fact that Farrell and Jimmy Kimmel conduct the entire thing in Spanish. Mi español es perfecto. <laughs> Como Hugo de Naranja en la biblioteca. It's a unique late night appearance, as Will promotes his movie while simultaneously infusing the bit with a touch of culture. As a result, it is weirdly wonderful, or should we say extrañamente maravilloso. <laughs> Number 5. Twilight Meltdown Well, I don't know if you follow the news at all. Um, 
But there's this actress, uh, Kristen Stewart. When Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart broke up, Will had a hard time containing his emotions. He's obviously Team Arpats, and like many, he realizes that the Twilight franchise could be in jeopardy. And she cheated on him. <laughs> and, um, oh, <laughs> And they're broken up. They're not going to get back together ever. <laughs> As the angry movie fan, Will taps into the mentality of pop culture obsessives while channeling the exaggerated emotional outbursts he's famous for. It's always a good thing when Will Ferrell embraces his emotions on live television, and this moment showcases his comedic versatility. I don't know if there was anything I could have done to prevent it! <laughs> it's bizarre, yet beautiful in its own special way. Number 4. I'm Chad Smith? For years, many people speculated that Will Ferrell might actually be Chad Smith, drummer for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, or vice versa. Thankfully, Jimmy Fallon helped clear things up for everyone's peace of mind. For this bit, Will plays a faux musician character, using off-kilter rock star cliches and even dressing in the same clothes as fellow guest Chad Smith. Smith and Ferrell play up their rivalry to ridiculous proportions, making the bit even more surreal and surely perplexing the average viewer tuning in midway through the interview. But you said that you, it's a character that, you, that Will Ferrell created called Chad Smith. Correct. Yeah. And yeah. I, was, I was so pissed. <laughs> the bit culminates in an epic drum off, where Will surprisingly and almost suspiciously holds his own. Number 3. Animal Expert Will is a man of many cultural interests, as he proves when he arrives on the Late Show stage with a rifle. Before discussing his guest's new movie, Zoolander 2, Stephen Colbert acknowledges the elephant in the room, leading to a classic Will Ferrell spoof. You know, I've just noticed your Late, your late Show is kind of new. Yep, right? Yes, yeah. And uh, you, you don't really have an animal expert yet. Do, do no, we don't have one yet. He plays the friendly animal expert a character that speaks with confidence about things he clearly doesn't know much about. She's a short-spined Peruvian mongoose. <laughs> During this bit, Farrell introduces several exotic animals, although the exotic part is debatable. Will creates a bizarre mix of National Geographic-style fun and improvisational humor that even manages to crack up Colbert. What's his name? His name? Yeah. Cilantro. <laughs> Number two. Professor Feathers. Um, you, you have a bird <laughs> on your shoulder. It's moving out of the back of your collar. For this late night appearance, Will Ferrell is dressed to impress, ready to talk about his new movie, Get Hard. Everyone, whether we're born rich or poor, or white or miscellaneous. But things get awkward when Will is forced to address his personal life and acknowledge Professor Feathers the bird on his shoulder. Here's the deal, I'm, I'm happy to come on your show, and I'm, I'm happy to talk about the movie, uh, Get Hard, I'm happy to talk about, you know, anything. But I don't wanna talk about my personal life, okay? For this bit, Farrell pokes fun at prickly demeanors of serious actors, using a literal cockatoo as the foundation for some weird comedy. No, I'm not angry, I'm not angry at all. <laughs> But there's no reason to bring Professor Feathers into any sort of conversation. Plus, it also allows him to make some cockatoo jokes while criticizing Conan for his offensive line of questioning. Will's comedic timing is matched only by Professor Feathers himself, who knows exactly how to play to the camera. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. What's with the sunglasses? I, um, I have just started wearing women's sunglasses. <laughs> and, uh, it's a real conversation yeah. starter. Yeah, uh, it is. So great to see those little Russian girls crying. <laughs> what? Uh, just, oh my God, I was just laughing so hard. <laughs> I, uh, I was at a kid's birthday party. <laughs> And uh, I didn't have time to wipe it off my face. <laughs> Number one, Little Debbie. Sales pitches are a lot more entertaining when they feature Will Ferrell in a dress. Wearing a wig underneath a delightful little hat, Will uses his Tonight Show appearance as a platform to advertise for Little Debbie snack cakes. Well, I have to wear it. I'm the new face of Little Debbie's snack cakes. <laughs> 
With his posture and giddy demeanor, Will channels a variety of his most memorable characters. Throughout the interview, he hilariously stays in character and keeps pushing hard. Not to promote his movie, but to sell some delicious Little Debbie snack cakes. Tonight, everyone in the audience has the opportunity to go out and buy some Little Debbie snack cakes. Okay? Given the audience's enthusiasm, we'd say he succeeded. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.